Hey guys, it's Nick with you forever. Okay, today I have a very interesting question for you guys. What is your favorite book? Uh, I know not all of you read. Some of you prefer watching movies. So if you don't like books, what is your favorite movie? Personally, I have a favorite book. The, my favorite book is The Little Prince. The Little Prince was my favorite book when I was younger, probably because it was very short. The book only has around approximately maybe 100 pages. That's a very short book. It is written by Saint-Exupéry, who is a French writer. Why this book is so amazing is because, number one, it is short. Number two, it has a lot of pictures. Who doesn't like pictures? I'm sure when you guys read Russian classics, sometimes you want to see a picture. The Little Prince has pictures and they are very colorful. And the last reason why I love The Little Prince. The Little Prince is a very special book. If you read this book when you are young, you will see one side of the story. However, if you read this story when you're older, maybe 15, 17, 18, you will see a completely different side of the story and you will be amazed by how the story has changed over the years. That is why I believe The Little Prince is a book that you should read and not once, but twice, because you guys will understand exactly what I mean. But enough about me. What about you guys? What is your favorite book? Why is it your favorite book? Or if you like movies, what is your favorite movie? And please tell me why, I want to know. Hello everyone, it's nice to see you. I'm going to tell you about my favorite movie. Yes, I do have a favorite movie and many of you probably know it. It's called The Lion King. <laughs> yes, you can laugh at me all you want, The Lion King, ha ha ha. But it's an amazing movie. Who doesn't like The Lion King? Akuna Matata, right? It means no worries. I really liked Simba and I liked his friends uh, Timon and Pumbaa, obviously. I think it's a very funny movie and my favorite part about these movies were that they were Disney. They were always singing and having fun and it reminds me of when I was a small boy with my family, when we would have our snacks, our popcorn and our drinks and it was great. It was wonderful. Now to see movies, it's so easy. You can watch Netflix or I have no idea what you kids are using these days, but it's very, very easy to watch what you want. When I got The Lion King, I got it for my birthday present. Yes, it was for a VCR. Many of you are probably asking yourselves, what is a VCR? Well, uh, VCR was this box that we had this big tape, our movie, and we put it in the box. <laughs> yes. And was it very good to watch? No, it was awful. Often it would stop and it would not work anymore. So, although uh, my favorite movie is The Lion King, I think all the Disney movies are amazing. What can you tell me about your favorite movie? Hello everyone, Jonathan here. I've been asked to talk to you about my favorite book and or movie. Now, I don't like a lot of books. Not that they are bad, but I like to... No, I struggle to read a long book that is a story, that is fiction. If it's a non-fiction book, like a history book or a textbook, that is fine. I can read it and enjoy it. But if it is a story, I don't know why, but I struggle to read an entire book. Just a me problem. So I actually enjoy movies much, much more. My favorite movie would actually be Star Wars. I know it's kind of boring as a choice, but listen, 
When I was really, really young, I watched the original Star Wars and it made me feel light and fluffy and whimsical and it made me feel smart because I predicted certain things that were going to happen before they happened. Remember, I was very young at the time. And so when I was younger, watching that film made me feel smart like an adult. Now, when I watch the movie as an adult, it makes me feel young and free and imagination coming out of every place it could because it makes me feel young again. It's a magical thing to have a movie make you feel older when you're young and younger when you're old. But that's my movie. That's what I love. I'm sure you've got a different movie or possibly a different book. Why don't you tell us what it is? Hello, how are you? I'm doing great and I hope that you are well as well. Today, I am going to talk to you about books. I'm going to tell you about my favorite book. This is a very interesting topic for me because I love reading and I have always loved books. But it was very easy for me to choose my favorite book because I have had the same favorite book since I was about nine years old. I first read this book at nine years old when I found it at the library. This is a very famous book called The Hobbit. You may know this book. It was written by an Englishman called J.R.R. Tolkien in the 1950s. It is a fantasy book about a tiny little man who went on an adventure to find a dragon and take back the gold that the dragon had stolen. This book is great. Parts of it are funny, parts of it are scary, but the whole thing is great. Some Russian people made a movie of this book in 1985, which I have never seen because I do not understand Russian. Fortunately, Peter Jackson, a person from New Zealand like me, made new movies about this in 2012, and he also filmed them in New Zealand. These movies are great, and if you watch them, you will see some of New Zealand, which is my home country. But you really should read the book, as the book is a lot better than the movies. So what about you? What is your favorite book? Have you also read The Hobbit?